Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will try to improve the automation of the employment process that we did in another work demo. We did a workflow that creates a bunch of tasks depending on which position a new employee is hired into, management, finance, or production. And this works well. It completes the specification that we have in this document but it does not add any flexibility. The problem is that if you're delivering a solution like this as a, an employee or as a consultant, you're probably the, not the person who decides what the, the employment process should look like. So if anything in this list changes, then you'll need to open up SharePoint Designer, make the appropriate changes, test, and then of course deploy it again. And most likely you're not too entertained by doing those kind of small changes when a wording change or a new task changes here. So it would be better to have a settings list where you just enter what needs to be done and then you can just ask your users or the ones who are making decisions, just modify the settings here and everything will work automatically. So to illustrate the point, I'm gonna change this a bit because these to-do items are of course related to different people. Different people will do these tasks. So I'm gonna insert a column to the right, just to illustrate this. And instead of having one to-do column here, I'll have one to-do for IT and one for back office. So let's move these over here. There, and then of course the desk is the back office again. So this makes a bit of sense, right? So let's illustrate this whole thing in SharePoint also. And we can read from that in our workflow. There we go. Now it looks neat and very easy to explain. So let's uh, go into SharePoint and put this in a list so that we can have this dynamic. So we're gonna add an app to contain this. It's gonna be a custom list. I'm going to call that employee process settings. And let's go into the list here and make some modifications. Of course, always the versioning so we see who changed what. It's always a good thing. And I also like the edit button at the top of the, each row, so let's put that in there also. All right, so now I'm gonna rename the title field, column settings, there we go, I'm gonna rename that, and I'm gonna call that uh, as the same column here, I'm gonna have the position, and then we're gonna have two more. It's gonna be a multi-lines of text, IT to do, And then another one, multiple lines of text, back office to do. All right. And then we're just going to enter this quick edit to that. And let's just do these things here and just enter the same values here that we have. I'll just pause this and continue once I'm done typing that in. All right. I've filled out all the information that we had in our Word document there. I'm just going to point out here that, that uh, of course, this is, these are rich text fields, so you can very well have links and stuff in here. That works beautifully. And if I save that now, you'll see that that, that will be there also. So uh, the rich text and the bullets and all that will be in the task. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read that dynamically now. So let's walk into the uh, new employees task here. And I'm, I've already disabled this, so this doesn't run. Now I'm gonna create a new workflow instead. So again, we're gonna go into workflows and create a new workflow. That's gonna be connected to the employees, of course, and it's gonna be called dynamic workflow new employee. That can be a 2013 workflow again. Going to the end of the workflow, 
on the workflow settings, we're going to start this workflow automatically when an item is created, and then we're going to edit the workflow. Uh, now, the first thing that we want to do is find the to-do items. We have two to-do items here, right? We have the to-do items uh, for the um, IT and the back office. So let's start by creating two variables for that. IT to do, and that's going to be a string, and then the back office to do, right? String. So next we're going to set the workflow variable. The workflow variable that we want to use is first let's do the IT. We're going to set that to the value of another list. We want to get the workflow settings, employee process settings, that's the one we want to use. We're going to get the uh, IT to do. IT to do. A string, of course, where the field position which is the title, that's what we use the title for, is equal to the current item position. And that will just uh, include one, so we'll do, then we'll do the same thing for, I'm going to copy that action, I'm going to do the same thing for the back office, right? So we're just getting another column, but the same one but the same uh, item for the same item. Back office to do. Right. So now we have those two to do items and then we'll just uh, create two actions here to uh, set, assign a task. And I'm just going to assign them to me now again, but of course we would set them to the IT group or whatever. So the task title is uh, new employee um, and just build up the first name and the last name as we usually do. There we go. And a space. And these, this is the key here, these are the tasks to be done. And then we let's go into the editor here. And then of course we enter this variable that we picked up. And that we're working on the um, IT. Let's do that one. So that's the IT tasks. And let's just do both of them. We, do, we don't wait for the task completion. We just set these tasks right away. And then we can just copy the other one. Copy action, and paste that, and then we do the, uh, there we go. We just remove this variable and um, insert the back office instead. All right. So let's try this out now. So as you see, the work this workflow is much, much shorter. And also, it should be flexible. So when we change something in the settings list, then that will immediately just work. So let's go to the site contents and find the um, employees list so we can test this out. Let's see if we have any tasks. No, we, no, we don't. All right. So we can actually just run this on Calculo so we don't have to enter the information again. So I'll open the item and just click on the workflows button to kick off this workflow. There we go. Dynamic workflow new employee. There we go. That's the one we want to run. And now we should get the workflow tasks because this is a finance employee. And in the employee process settings, it says that a finance setting should be a computer and a desk, right? So let's go into the site contents again and find the workflow tasks. And there's the new employee Calicula, and both are assigned to me, but of course they should be assigned to different people now. Let's open this, and there we see computer. That was the task to be done, the computer. And let's look at that, the second one, desk. So those are the things. Now we can go in and modify the settings. And let's see, finance employees, they should get something else. 
IT should, should have a computer with a numeric keyboard. That's always popular in the finance department, right? And let's just close that now and run the process again. And before we do that, let's just clear out the existing tasks so we don't have those there. All right, let's kick off this dynamic workflow now. And of course, what I just changed was that the finance employees should get an American keyboard on their computer, which makes sense. Let's kick off that now. And let's look at the workflow tasks here. Retry that. A new employee, there should be two of them coming in, of course. There they are. So that should be the first one. There we go, computer with numeric keyboard. So that was indeed entered. All right, so now we have created an employee process settings. Of course, I would like to do this now to make it very useful. So let's put the employees there and let's put the settings underneath there and then the tasks also. So we have that, the tasks uh, that are related to the employees in most cases, of course, and the settings. So now we have a solution that we can probably live with and the HR department, the back office, they can all argue about what needs to be done on each step of this process and they can just modify that using quick edit or just opening the right position and modifying the thing and including hyperlinks, colors, whatever you like. So that would of course be a much more flexible dynamic solution and probably more interesting for the developer who delivers this solution also. Thank you for watching this demonstration.